Do you work with welds? How long does it typically take you to do your visual inspections? Come with me, I'd like to show you something. I've opened Zeiss Inspect here because I would like to check if this weld seam fulfills the requirements of ISO 5817 Class B. A typical inspection, right? But usually also quite tedious. I, however, simply open the project template import a scan of my part let the software do some calculations and here i already have the final result It works just like this for one, ten or even a hundred weld scenes. Instead of importing a mesh, I could have also used, for example, an ATOS GOMSCAN1 or TSCAN HAWK2 sensor to scan right into this project. However you get your data. I doubt you've done large-scale, standard-compliant visual weld inspections this quickly before. And that's why I would like to show you today how you can do this as well. The magic that you just saw at work, of course, isn't actually magic, but rather a new app we have developed specifically for weld inspections. You can find the Weld Check app in our software store and buy and download it there. It is not a free app, but I hope that in this two-part video series, I'll be able to convince you that it's worth every penny. So let's take a look at it. In this first video, I would like to show you how you can set up a project like mine in two different scenarios. One, if you don't have CAD data of your part, and two, if you have CAD data of your part. Either way, you'll be able to make full use of the Weld Check app. Let's start by opening a new project. Once you have the WeldCheck app installed, you will find this dedicated workspace. At first, I would like to show you the workflow without a CAD file. I could start this workflow by scanning my part, for example, with an ATOS GOMSCAN1 or TSCANHAWK2 system. In my case, I have already done that previously and can now simply import the polygonized mesh file. We can now start our inspection workflow right here. First, we need to define the location of the weld seam to be inspected. This is done via a curve. The curve can be created in three different ways, found in the main toolbar of the weld inspection workspace. First, you can select a patch in your CAD that represents your weld. Since we don't have a CAD available for now, I will show this option later. Second, you can use an existing curve, for example, if you have created one previously. This could again be a curve on your CAD if you have one. An edge curve, for example, is a frequent choice. But you could also use this function if you only have a scanned mesh and no CAD. In this case, the curve used for your inspection could, for example, be a section you created. This is especially useful for circular world seams. Last but not least, you can create a curve manually by simply clicking along your weld seam. This is what I will choose for my first example. I could now click multiple points and the software would create a curve out of them. However, in my example, two points, one at the start and one at the end of my weld, are absolutely sufficient. Once I finish the creation of the curve, a dialog pops up that lets me set the parameters for creating sections along said curve. Each section will later become a point of inspection. Thus, the number of sections set via section distance determines how detailed the result will be. More sections lead to more detailed results. It is important to note, however, that 
too many sections will slow down the calculation quite substantially and will also lead to a very cluttered project. I will therefore go with 6mm in between my sections. I also need to define a radius. The radius needs to be set in a way that the sections go a bit beyond the surface of the weld itself. This creates the characteristic look that is also by the way captured in the icon for the workspace. A good rule of thumb for the section radius is to cover the weld seam plus roughly half the width of the weld seam to each side of it. Sections that either reach too far into the surrounding material, especially in case of curved surfaces, or sections that do not cover enough material may result in unstable calculations. Finally, the last dialog lets you specify all parameters that are necessary to calculate whether your weld seam meets the requirements of a certain standard and quality level. Simply fill in the dialog and the assessment will be done for you. I would like to inspect for ISO 5817 and quality level B in this case. The weld type is a fillet weld, which is identified automatically. If the software cannot identify the weld type automatically, it outputs a hint and you need to define it manually. The material thickness of both joint parts also needs to be specified for the calculations. The last parameter is the nominal fillet weld thickness, which should be stated in your technical drawing. Mine is defined as 3.5 mm. If you want to, you can also let the software generate an inspection report automatically. You will learn more about this in the second video in this series. As soon as you click OK, the calculations will start and you will soon get an inspection summary stating the specified standard, quality level and whether or not the weld fulfills the requirements. The last piece of information is both given as the percentage of sections that fulfill the requirements and as a colored indication where green stands for pass and red would stand for fail. We will take a much more detailed look at the inspection results in the second video in this mini-series. You have now seen the basic workflow of creating weld inspections with the Weld Check app in Zeiss Inspect. So far we performed all our inspections directly on the measured data, but I promised earlier to also show you how to use the Weld Check app in combination with CAD data. The workflow is very similar, but you will unlock even more functionalities. Let's start with a new project. This time the first step is to import my CAD file. If you have already scanned your measuring object, you could now import a mesh file again or, of course, scan into the project directly. If, however, you plan to scan later and for now only want to prepare your inspections, you can also just copy your CAD as a mesh placeholder. To do this, go to Operations CAD, CAD to Actual Mesh. The software now creates a fake mesh. Since this fake mesh matches our CAD perfectly, the two automatically look perfectly aligned. Keep in mind though that this will not be the case anymore once we import our real meshes later. Therefore, you should always create a pre-alignment that will later assure that mesh and CAD are properly aligned. As my CAD has a patch that represents the weld seam, I can now show you the second way to start the inspection workflow. For this, I'll be using the function inspection by patch. The patch selection tool opens and I can select the desired patch or even multiple patches with single clicks. Once I have selected everything, I need to end the selection process with the right mouse button, otherwise I will not be able to proceed. A curve is being created along the selected patch. I could now adjust the position of this curve, but as in most cases, the center of my patch is fine for me. Now I can simply follow the same workflow described before. Let's fast forward a bit. Here we have our inspection results again. Please note 
Since we're not using a measured mesh at the moment, but rather a copy of the CAD, the resulting label does not yet show real results, of course. In more complex projects than mine, you could now repeat the same steps for any other welds in your part. If the inspections you just performed are recurring inspections and you would like to apply them to many measured meshes in the future, you can then also go ahead and create a project template from them. You can find this function under File, Create Template from Project. Enter some relevant information like a template name and a description and click OK to save your template. Let's say it is the next day and you would like to inspect another part of the same kind. All you now have to do is open the Zeiss Inspect software, select your project template, import a new mesh or scan with your sensor, and you will immediately see the updated inspection result. Thanks to the parametric character of the software, you can do this one after the other with as many meshes as you like. The results will always be updated within seconds. The label now shows the real inspection result, which unfortunately is no longer a pass. Part of this is probably due to the sections created at the beginning and end of the curve. Now that we have real actual data, you can see that those do not make much sense anymore. For such cases, note that all elements created during this workflow are also fully parametric. This means that if you should ever encounter a problem with a certain section, you can always select this section, edit its creation parameters, and adjust, for example, its position or the radius. Everything, including your result, will be updated immediately. I hope I was able to show you how fast and simple it is to set up a project for inspecting weld seams with our WeldCheck app. If you would like to learn more about the results that the WeldCheck app produces, stay tuned for the second video in this mini-series. There we will dive deeper into what the software actually calculates in the background and I will show you how to precisely identify problems with your welds so that you can be confident about their quality. See you there!